Microsoft just made a surprising announcement. You can now extend your Windows 10 security updates into late 2026 for free. But before you get too excited, there's a big catch, and it's one that affects your privacy. Stick around. Microsoft officially in support for Windows 10 on October the 14th, 2025, and for 30 bucks, you can purchase critical updates for another year, which we knew, right? Well, they have obviously heard all of the concerns and complaints from the community, so they have added additional options. But in true Microsoft fashion, it's not exactly what it seems, and the end result still follows the narrative of moving you to Windows 11 and tying your PC to Microsoft with the use of a Microsoft account. Let me explain. Microsoft has now launched a new Extended Security Update, or ESU, program. If you qualify, you can receive critical and important security updates for one more year until October the 13th, 2026, for free. Like the paid option, these updates won't include new features or bug fixes. It's security only, and that makes sense because Windows 10 is essentially on life support. This new program is for the everyday user, especially those with older PCs that don't meet the hardware requirements for Windows 11. It's Microsoft's way of giving you a bit more time. However, none of this is an option if your version of Windows 10 is not activated to begin with, so check out today's sponsor first. Are you using an unregistered version of Windows 11? Then you need to check out keyspan.com. Keyspan offers a wide range of products including Windows 11, Windows 10, and even older versions like Windows 7. Need all this software? They got you covered with keys for Office 2019 and Office 2021. And here's the best part. You can save big with exclusive coupon codes by using my code RKT50 to get 50% off all Windows series. That means you can get Windows 11 Pro for less than $20. But wait, there's more. For Microsoft Office, use my code RKT62 to get a massive 62% off. Buying is super easy. Just add your chosen product key to your cart, apply the coupon code, and pay securely via PayPal or credit card. You'll receive your genuine activation key in no time. Once you have your product key, go back to the activation page, click on change product key, enter the product key you just purchased, and click activate. Be sure to check out keysfan.com. Here's the key part and the catch. To get free access to the extended security updates, you must be signed into Windows 10 with a Microsoft account and have your settings synced to that Microsoft account, no exceptions. If you're using a local account, enrolling in the program will force you to sign in and it will convert your Windows profile to a Microsoft account in the process. Now, yes, you can switch back to a local account after enrolling, but that enrollment is tied to your Microsoft account and that's exactly what Microsoft wants. It's designed to make the transition from Windows 10 to 11 easier and capture your data, of course. If you are a Windows 10 user signed in with a Microsoft account already, then this is for you. But if you're one of the many users, myself included, who do not want their computer chained to Microsoft, then you're stuck with the paid option. Let's go over the three ways Microsoft is offering in the latest update. First is the free option via syncing settings. If you've already synced your Windows settings to your Microsoft account, you may already be eligible. Just go to the Windows Update and click Enroll Now. The second option is free via Microsoft Rewards Points. If you've got a thousand Microsoft Reward Points, which is about a dollar, you can redeem them for a free ESU enrollment. And of course, the paid option. You can buy it for $30 if you don't want to sync anything or use a Microsoft account. But if you're okay with the Microsoft account, I'll walk you through the enrollment. Make sure your system is running Windows 10 version 22H2 and you're signed in as an administrator with a non-child Microsoft account. You also can't be part of a domain or MDM service. This is strictly for home users. So from Windows 10, we want to do a couple of things. Let's start with going to settings. We'll go to system first. I'm gonna come down here to about, and you wanna verify your version of Windows 10. You need to be on Windows 10 22H2, and you need to have the latest updates installed. And of course, your version of Windows 10 needs to be activated. 
Now here in the settings bar, I'm just gonna type in sync. I'm gonna click on sync your settings. And these are those requirements where you see here where it says, remember my apps, remember my preferences, all this stuff needs to be turned on. And for this example, I have the files currently being backed up to OneDrive. So with all of these prerequisites, then you also want to make sure that you are logged in to a Microsoft account, not a local account. Now, if I head over here to updates and security, I do not have this enrollment option yet, but I also just installed this copy of Windows 10 today for this video. If you do not have this and you're following all those prerequisites, it will be rolled out to you soon. I'll show a screenshot of what that looks like because when you get here to the update screen, it will have an option to start the enrollment process and I'll show you what that looks like. And you can see that here. And this will begin the enrollment process. So remember, activated copy of Windows 10, logged in with a Microsoft account, syncing your apps and settings, and then from the Windows Update page, you will, if not already, get the option here to start the enrollment process. Yes, it can make your system more secure in the sense that having a Microsoft account adds an extra level of security. If your device is lost or stolen, no one can access that data without your Microsoft credentials. But that's also true for you. If you lose those Microsoft credentials, you can't access your data either. This also makes the transition from Windows 10 to 11 easier by having your data, apps, and settings sync to Microsoft. And that's the goal, to get you to Windows 11. But it also comes at the cost of personal data and some control. Make no mistake, this is a one-year lifeline. There's no indication Microsoft will offer a second extension, so use this time to plan your upgrade or replacement of your current computer. Look into Linux if your PC can't run Windows 11 and you want to keep it. Don't assume Windows 10 will keep working safely beyond 2026 if you choose these options. Obviously, there are options to bypass Windows 11 hardware requirements. I've made a ton of videos on how to do that. You can find those on my channel. But if you're a Windows 10 user who already uses a Microsoft account, this is a win for you, or at least a one-year extension. So, what do you think about Microsoft's offer? a helpful extension, or just another push to get you on their ecosystem. You decide. Drop me a comment below. If you found value in this video, do me a favor, please like and share the video, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Subscribing to the channel helps me grow and continue to bring you content just like this. Be sure to check out these other suggested videos YouTube thinks you'll enjoy, and as always, thank you for watching, and until next time.